your experience with peanut butter and jelly? Six to the roof of my mouth. You like it? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go get some peanut butter, jelly and bread, and make a sandwich. Yeah. Alright, so first we're gonna get the bread. Here's some bread. We're not looking for that bread. No. Here's the right bread right here. So this is the right bread that you want for peanut butter and jelly. Canadian white. Um, as long as it's Canadian white, you'll be fine. Alright, you don't want to mess that up. We have it laid out on the side for you. Yeah. Skip these ones you want to use for peanut butter. Skip the regular one. Have you ever had the other one? Look at that right there. It's a jelly. So, you got all kinds of jellies and jams. Every kind of jelly and jam. <laughs> This one works fine for what you're using it for. Yeah, as you can see, previously we grabbed it from brand, but this one's superior. So, if you notice, I did not show myself purchasing the food. However, I did in fact purchase the food. This is the receipt. All you need is ten dollars and seven cents to purchase bread, peanut butter, and jelly. I also got some cat treats, and then you're all set. You can feed your cat and yourself. You see that? <laughs> a low price of ten oh seven. <laughs> yeah, a low so here we are back at the house. As you can see, oh, we have all of our ingredients. Here's that Canadian white. We have the jelly and the peanut butter. The most important ingredients. Of course, we also have the kitty treats that we saw earlier. If you want to add those on, that's up to you. So, we're going to need a knife for this procedure. Uh, scalpel will work too. And a plate. You can use glass, but paper works just as good because it's not that heavy. So first you want to open up the bread. And here we go, we're opening up the bread. Sometimes these twisted ties can be quite complicated. Sometimes they get all tangled up and not always the same direction, but there we go, we got the bread. Never use the end piece, last two end pieces because those are the worst pieces of bread in the loaf. Uh, we can get rid of this now. So we're gonna do Let's do the jelly first, because a lot of people have peanut butter allergies, and you wouldn't want to contaminate the jelly for everyone else. So we're going to scoop some jelly out with our knife here. There's some jelly on the bread there, All right? So what you want to do, see, as you can see, you spread the jelly like that. I'm very good at spreading the jelly. Now it takes years of... Now it takes years of practice to spread jelly like this. Um... There we go. And there you have it. It's almost jellied. And after it's jellied, what you want to do is peanut butter it. Now, this is not that much jelly. If you prefer to use more jelly, that is, again, up to you. Um, now would be the time where you add on the cat treats, if you do end up going that route. All right, so that's jellied enough. So then you want to take your piece of bread, other bread, the clean bread, wipe your knife off, right? Because you don't want to cross-contaminate it, right? Because... This is definitely the best way to sanitize a knife. And then you open up your peanut butter. Now you know what they say about the first thing that Skippy did. Uh, but first you got to take off the lid to see that perfection. There we go. As you can see, it's very smooth. Except for that imperfection right there. So, there we go. Look at that. That's beautiful. So then, we just got to spread it out. Just spread it out smooth as Skippy. We need some more Skippy. Here's some Skippy. Now, I prefer more peanut butter to jelly. Now, it's just my preference. Some people like jelly and no peanut butter. And in which case, it'd just be jelly bread. But I'm making a peanut butter and jelly. Let's see. As you can see, it's almost covered. 
but you want to get a complete coverage for maximum peanut butter reach. So that's good enough. Now this is going to be a lightweight sandwich. If you wanted to go extra big, you would grab about twice as much ingredients. So you just want to cut it down the middle. As you can see here, there's a cat treat again. You can cut it down the middle or you can cut it sideways like that. Now, some people prefer middle, some people prefer sideways. I prefer sideways. Otherwise, it's not, you know, proper enough uh, and just isn't as tasty. Now, you can cut it again in fours, but, you know, only children have it in fours. So, that's good enough. And we made a mess. But there is our peanut butter and jelly sandwich. As good as it gets. And we should have grabbed some milk. We do have Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'.